Hello, and welcome to another video. How's it going? And you are now watching part two of what's going on with us. So from our last video, you, you probably have a couple questions. Right, Rob? I would think so. First question I thought people would want to know is, Rob, mm -hmm. are you enjoying your new job? So far, I could be more blessed to be uh, where I'm at than here on the West Coast. And different vibe versus the East Coast of Florida. I'm so proud of you, Rob. Thanks. So question two. Rob, do you look good in your uniform? Third question, do I look good in the uniform? So the last question you might have is, why does your mom have to come with you on Rob's job interview? Because we're buying a house. The story starts probably a couple nights before your job interview. When Rob told me, hey, I'm applying at Charlotte County and they got back to him, which was very quick. I decided, I'm gonna look at houses. My mother's sister, which is where we're at right now, FYI, uh, we're staying with her while Rob's in training. Um, but my mother's sister lives over here. My sister lives over here um, in the Fort Myers area. So, and my mother has always said when she retires, she does want to move to the West Coast. A couple nights prior to my actual job interview, Rachel was on Trulia, and the whole thing is, is she was curious about, hey, we're gonna be over there. Let me go see what's the lay of the land. Let's look and see if possible we're gonna be moving, and if all goes well to just kind of go to the west side. So I hit request info, and we got matched up with a realtor, Mr. Jay Heath. Jay's contact info will be in the description box if you're interested in finding a house in Port Charlotte as well. He's awesome. Awesome. So, and we Especially got- he always has his peach tea with him, so he always has to make sure that while you're house hunting, you, your thirst is quenched. Before Rob's job interview, because his wife likes to torture him, we met Jay at a new construction, but was not finished yet. It had the exterior shell and the roof on it, and basically all inside was just unfinished concrete. And but they had all the walls up. You had a general idea of what How room was what. Rob went on his job interview, and my mother and I went with Jay all over Port Charlotte looking at houses. I saw three on the first day of DR Horton, and they're nice, but they... A little bit. They're a little too expensive for what we could afford. So, what well, where we wanted to be. Yes, but... You don't want to be house poor for your first house. Note to self. But then they wouldn't let you change anything. Yeah, that's probably a big, big let down. But then again, if you change yourself, it would have made the price go higher regardless. We met with Jay then a couple of weeks later again. Mm -hmm. So our second time. We were really interested in, at that point, um, one house on the street was called Malden. So we called it the Malden house. Yeah. It was... Was it on an acre or half an acre? It was a third to a half acre. It was a really weird layout, like when we actually went and got to see it. And it, I didn't feel comfortable when we were going in there. So lo and behold, that fell through. Then another house, Yancey we, Street. we actually put a bid on it. And then there was a whole bunch of misconstrued information on the listing. So it said that there was a brand new AC, there wasn't. But there's was actually just a part that was replaced. So the AC was actually 19 years old. So that was false listing information. So that was quickly. Which people can just do on yeah. apps like Truly and stuff like that. No one is actually held accountable for actually lying on their listing. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. We didn't have this good feeling on it. Like later in the day, then our realtor, Jay, got back with us. He's like, I'm not feeling that good about this, guys. I just got off the phone with their realtor and something doesn't seem right so, so then we, we withdrew. we withdrew and it was for the best yeah 
And then, then we went and had Abby's Donuts. Yes. Good Sweet donuts. Day. I wish we would have went like early in the morning because I'm told they have apple fritters this big. What are we doing right now? It's, they're closed. They're closed at three. It's two. Anyway, so that second trip ended up being, but very kind of eye-opening and And we got to get experience. to know, and get to know our realtor a little bit more as a person, as an individual. Then we came back a third time. This was a long old day. So this was the first time that I made the list for the six houses that I wanted to see. And needless to say, one out of the five that we first saw, we were remotely thinking about possibly pursuing. We were also interested in that one with that big extra room that enclosed on our porch. No, I'm talking about the one with the Asian lady in it. We were interested in that yeah, one with the big Yeah, before porch. we kind of, when we got there, crazy <laughs> loud music. If you're ever selling your house, First off, pay your neighbors to hush. <laughs> Secondly, make sure you're not home. Yeah. At least just go for a walk around the block. Because that house and the house after that, both the owners were in there. And, we and it was the know. most uncomfortable. It was like, okay. Bye. So we're exhausted. Rachel has a headache by this point. Because of all the Glade plugins yeah. covering up the mildew smell. Because Jay kept saying, Rachel, you gotta see the Fallon. Rachel, you gotta see the Fallon. Okay, Jay, put it on there. We'll drive up, we'll see the Fallon. Four, three? It was so late. No, it was closer to five. And I had had a headache the entire day. And I was just done. Yeah, you were kind of miserable. Sorry. And then, so, first thing we do when we get in there, do you have coffee? Is all she asked. As soon as I walk in, immediately the headache kind of lifts because you know, clean, yes, new. Mm -hmm. So I get a cup of coffee, and that my headache was gone. And so, what was your first impression when you walked into the home? Um, very bright, very simple design and layout. Nothing crazy or outlandish. Very open. Um, I like that it already had a bar built in to like a bar top right off the kitchen so all you gotta do is get stools it has the two separate there's they're not big rooms but it's a little eating eat in area split floor plan yes and the mask. it came with the covered under trust covered lanai mm -hmm. it's under the trust three car garage and my feelings was a very big selling point because many homes don't, don't have. have that unless you're spending Quite a bit of money on that. And we need our gym to go in there. Uh, yeah, and also I like a little shop area for put, like my tools, like a tool bench and stuff like that. So that wouldn't clutter up any random space. And then one thing I did notice too, of course it had this up separate laundry. I feel like all new homes nowadays have that, but I would have not been used to that. Yes. And then there, selling point for Rachel, there's a linen closet in the master bathroom. This is very cool. Yes, that was a good So place. I don't have to walk down the hall and I'm freezing to go get towel. Mm -hmm. That is true. <laughs> and just the layout is simple yet efficient. It was very, it's very totally well designed. Totally makes sense, yeah. Um, I don't think there's wasted space in that house at all. And then we talk with the rep Holiday Builders representative mm -hmm. and we, um, Pick out everything. We gotta pick out our colors, the tile. The biggest selling point, honestly, was that things are customizable and not more expensive. Yes, there's you had different transition periods of saying I want this instead of this, that instead of that. So and it was the same price. Yeah. So some of the other builders we were looking at, everything was an upgrade. So the ugly tile, if you liked the nicer, more modern, lighter, grayish tile, oh, that's $5,000 more. Mm -hmm. Holiday Builders was not that way. You want that tile or that tile? You just pick, and it's the same price. And Rob also, wanted a, a single bowl sink. That was, I had very few wants out of a house. Needed a garage, single bowl sink was not a deal breaker, but it was pretty high up on the list. Got granite upgrade in the kitchen, which was 
not a ton more money and it's gonna last a long time especially if it's done correctly it's it's not gonna ever go bad or anything happen to it and that was not that and much more expensive we also got the double bowl in the bathroom we got two sinks in the bathroom yes we had a, like get a back jack off and, my sink a jack and jill sink get off my sink stand in your sock yeah. and it came with all mowing products um i got a discount for being a firefighter i got a three thousand so dollars after all that upgrades that we wanted we got tile in our bedroom as well because mm -hmm. everywhere but the two bedrooms the two guest bedrooms because apparently kids need carpet this is what i was told Super. so after all that it was out of our price range but for a new home i was willing to make the jump so i was like where do we sign and my my realtor jay Shh. Shh. What? Shh. Okay, Jay, I'll be quiet. So then Jay is doing his magic negotiation stuff, right? The, the representative had to go out and call our boss. They came back at us with the price. And that like, we wanted. That was exactly where we wanted to be. And I don't, I think I looked at you and then I just said, where do I sign? So when we were looking at getting this house, mm -hmm. um, the Fallon mo model from Holiday Builders, the way that Holiday Builders does do it is they already purchased the lots. So I don't have to go out and look for a lot. They already have the lot. And they know which house, based on the lot, that they can build on it. Which one of their models they can build there. Yes. So when we were looking at it, the Fallon model that we wanted, the only, there was only one in Port Charlotte being built at the time. Mm. And, but the, it was in permitting. The lot hadn't been cleared. They hadn't done anything. But to our benefit, it had already been in permitting for a month. So it came out of permitting... Two weeks, I think. Two and a half weeks. September 30th. So far we have um, dirt. And plumbing look appears... I'm not sure if it's complete, but it looks... Legit? Yeah. So, they say that the house will be built February 9th is the last thing. We have a bet going on, but it's going to be done. We do have a bet. Rob thinks that we will get the keys. February or March? February. Okay, and you said March 15th? I, no, you said February 15th. No, you said March. I said, Rob, I will just say March 1st. Anything after I win, anything before you win. So she basically made the bet terms for us. But what happens? I don't know what we're what winning. If it, I thought we bet on the futon for the front room. No, I'm pretty sure that's what we shook on. Go in your garage. <laughs> well, I'm doing whatever I want to the garage. A hundred percent. Shake on it. You don't care. It's cool. We close on the house whenever the heck is done. Which February, Marchish, maybe just before. Who knows? We're very excited to be moving and starting a new life on the West Coast. So far, I never thought I would ever say this, but so far, I am loving it over here. It's a different environment. Um, traffic is a lot better. Oh my gosh. There's still traffic, don't get me wrong, but. But it's... no one runs me off the road no. over here. So, Rob, are you excited about our house? I can't wait till I see walls. I think that'll then I'll get more excited about it. I agree. Because this going is, out there and just seeing plumbing, I'm like. When I see walls, I have an idea of what it's gonna look like, and then when they pour the slab for the um, driveway, hopefully it's the way I wanted it done, but it might not be. Because since we have the two in the one-car garage, they used to just pour triple-wide car weights uh, driveway. But now, supposedly, it's not a thing. But we'll see what happens. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for new content. Yes, lots of moving content, a lot of redecorating content. I do have an idea for the wall behind our bed that is going to happen. I'm not painting it, though. So you, you don't want, have to. If you want it, then you have to paint it. That's fine. I just need you to put the ladder up for me. I'll teach you how to use it. It's very easy. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making videos with you, Rob. Thanks. Um, like, comment, and subscribe for moving content and decorating content in the hope, hopefully very near future. And we hope to see you soon. Stay safe and peace out. Bye. So from our last video, <laughs> I don't think my butt will fit in this. Oh. Like mom's door. <laughs> it's not safe. That's why it's a safety thing. So in the bathroom that we thought looked kind of cool. It was kind of cool. The pink tub, you know, it just sets it off. The answer was no and no. Shake on it. Want to bet something?